All right, I'll start slowly uh, so that while you're taking your seats, uh, you can hear my remarks. My name is Ercan Balcan. Uh, for those of you who just joined us for the second part of the event, and uh, I am the director of Center for Language Studies, which is the organizer of this event. And we have a uh, Turkish, Arabic, Persian under the center, but it is an umbrella organization for all the languages offered at Brown. Uh, so uh, we are working with lots of uh, friends on campus and off campus. We have some co-sponsors I need to mention. Middle East Studies, Religious Studies, Contemplative Studies, the Office of Chaplains and Religious Life, and uh, Turkish American Cultural Society of Rhode Island. And we would like to thank our co-sponsors for making this possible. And I would like to, yes, we need to... <laughs> and also, I, I would like to thank you, my uh, colleague, Professor Iraj Anwar, who made this possible, who had the idea and who put this together. We are really grateful for his efforts uh, to make this happen. And another important person who is not with us tonight, uh, our office manager, Jill Stewart, who uh, did a lot for this event. We need to remember our office managers uh, who run our program. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, the CLS assistants. We have wonderful assistants uh, who help us uh, make posters, hang them around, make invitations. So we also appreciate all their efforts. And our, yes, we need to give you a hand as well. And this is going to be the second time for some of you, but uh, our biggest thanks uh, go to Mr. Kutsi Erginer for uh, honoring us uh, by coming here. And he's coming into the hall as I speak of him. As I said, it might be the second edition, and I'll make some corrections uh, as I go. Uh, but uh, I would like to talk about him a little bit. Uh, Kutsi Erginer is a contemporary master of Ottoman classical and Sufi music. From an early age on, his father taught him to play the name, the reed flute, which is ever present in Turkish Sufi music, as his family belongs to a long line of Sufis. It was the time when the young Turkish secular republic wanted to break with its religious past and determined the old traditional Sufi rituals for and disbanded the Mevlevi order, the Sufi order that was founded by the famous 13th uh, century mystic Rumi. Uh, I would like to stop here and uh, say uh, iyi bayramlar to the Turkish speakers. Tonight is uh, October 29th, this is the Republic Day. That's why we chose this day uh, to celebrate Turkish Republic, the 92nd uh, anniversary of Turkish Republic. Uh, however, I'm continuing the reading. <laughs> so, however, because could see belonged to the Erginer family, he was fortunate enough to meet the last people who held the key to the Sufi tradition when they secretly held their rituals in small places in Istanbul. Kutsi Erginer uh, has lived Sufism rather than studied, uh, thank you for the correction, uh, has been living uh, this uh, lifestyle rather than the uh, knowledge only, and uh, has been part of the Medavi Sufi tradition. He started his musical career in Istanbul Radio in 1969 and has been researching the earliest roots of Ottoman music, which he has also taught, performed, and recorded. After being established in Paris where he studied architecture and musicology, he founded the Mevlana Institute in 1980, this, which is devoted to uh, the study and teaching of classical Sufi music. He developed deep insights into the diversity of his culture that can be traced back to the 13th century. However, he did not neglect the modern music and at the same time he acquired the knowledge of other Middle Eastern music currents. He took part in Peter Brook's uh, movie meetings with remarkable men in 1978, and later on he directed and performed live in the much acclaimed Brook's Mahabharata. He also directed and performed in Robert Wilson's Rumi in the Blink of, an, of the Eye. In addition to uh, his own recordings, Erdogan has performed with Peter Gabriel, The Last Temptation of Christ, 
soundtrack, <coughs> William Orbit's band, Personality, <coughs> set the controls for the heart of the bass, Jean-Michel Jarre, Maurice Bejar, <coughs> Peter Brook, George Afergis, Didier Lockwood, Lockwood, Italian singer, songwriter, Alice and Michelle Portal. And we also uh, have uh, somebody who will accompany uh, Kutsi Ergüner tonight, and uh, his name is Afshin Gudarzi, with percussions, as you can see. Uh, and he, uh, Afshin has been a student of Iranian Rade for over 25 years. He studied the setar under Reza Darakshani. Afshin has performed at many cultural and artistic events in Connecticut, where he resides, and New York, where he works. And in Rhode Island right now, where he is uh, joining us for this wonderful night. Thank you for coming. As I mentioned, this week is part of the initiative called Language Weeks, and this week is Turkish Week. And uh, in the programs, if you picked up one of these, you will see the uh, other Turkish weeks, other weeks, not other Turkish weeks, we only one, other weeks of other languages where we celebrate and learn about the culture and the language. Uh, but before we start the performance, we will do some poetry reading in three different languages. Again, if you picked up one of these at the entrance, you will find the poems by Rumi, uh, and I will do the Turkish part, and Iraj will do Persian. We will start with Persian, the original language, the poetry was written, and we will do Turkish, and then we will do English as well by Kat, our assistant. So uh, I would like to start the poetry reading so that we can uh, listen to wonderful music that our uh, guests will make tonight. Uh, I would like to invite Iraj Enmar, the man behind this event and Kat as well. Uh, I just wanted to mention that uh, Catherine Long, my former student, is going to read the English. The translation of English is uh, mine. The Turkish translation is by Kutsi Erguner, and uh, I'm so glad that you showed up. Ey qawmi be haj rafte, kuja eid, kuja eid. Mashuq hamin jast, biya eid, biya eid. معشوق تو همسایه دیوار به دیوار در بادی سرگشت شما در چه هوایید گر صورت بی صورت معشوق ببینید هم خاجه و هم خانه و هم کعب شمایید ده بار از آن را به دان خانه برفتید یک بار از این خانه بر این بام برایید آن خانه لطیف است نشانهاش بگفتید از خاجه آن خانه نشانی بنمایید یک دسته گل کو اگر آن باغ بدیدید یک گوهر جان کو اگر از بحر خدایید با این همه آن رنج شما گنج شما باد افسوس که بر گنج شما پرد شمایید And now, the Turkish translation. Ey hacca gidenler, nereye gidiyorsunuz? Sevgili burada, bu tarafa gelin, bu tarafa gelin. Sevgiliyle sizin aranızda sadece bir duvar var, o sizin komşunuz. Niye uçsuz bucaksız çölde arayıp kaybolmayı tercih ediyorsunuz? Aşığın suretini gördüğünüzü zannediyorsunuz ama onun sureti yok ki. Eğer hakiki hacı yapsaydınız, hem hane sahibi, hem hane, hem de Kabe olurdunuz. On kere hacca bu yoldan gittiniz. Bir kere olsun hakiki hac etseniz, hiç olmazsa bir kez bu beden hanesinden kurtulsanız. Evet, bu hane güzel ama sadece nişanını biliyorsunuz. Haydi şimdi bana hane sahibinden bir eser gösterin. Eğer gül, gül bahçesini ziyaret ettiyseniz, hani derlediğiniz bir demet gül. Eğer hakkın umanına daldıysanız, Hani bulduğunuz nadir inci? 
Belki bu yolculuk size bir hazine kazandırdı. Ancak yine bu hazine sizinle hak arasında bir perde oldu. So you've gone on the Hajj. Where have you gone? The beloved's right here. Come, come. Your beloved's your neighbor, just the other side of the wall. What are you looking for, lost in the desert? If you see the faceless face of the beloved, you'll be the Lord, the house, and the Kaaba. Ten times you've traveled the road to that house. Just once, climb up to the roof of this house. That house is beautiful. You've described every inch of it. Give me a sign from the Lord of that house. If you've seen that garden, where are the roses you plucked? If you are from the sea of God, where is just one pearl of the soul? Even so, your hardship is your treasure. How sad that you veil that treasure from yourself. میان ما درا ما عاشقانیم که تا در باغ عشق در کشانی مقیم خانه ما شو چو سایه که ما خورشید را همسایگانیم چو جان در جهان گر ناپدیدیم چو عشق عاشقان گر بینشانیم ولی که آثار ما پیوسته توست که ما چون جان نهانیم و عیانیم هر آن چیزی که تو گویی که آنید به بالاتر نگر بالای آنیم تو آبی لیک گردابی و محبوس درا در ما که ما سیل روانیم شما در فقر مطلق پاک بازیم به جز تصنیف نادانی ندانیم گل sen de aramıza katıl. Biz aşıklarız. Biz seni aşk bahçesine davet ediyoruz. Bir gölge gibi bize yaklaş. Bize misafir ol. Çünkü bizler güneşin komşusuyuz. Bizler bu alemde ruh gibi gizli, aşıkların aşkı gibi bir sır isek, bizim her eserimiz sendendir. Biz ruh gibi hem görünen hem görünmeyeniz. Ne söylersen, bizi nasıl görürsen daha yukarı bak. Çünkü biz senin görüşünden de öteyiz. Sen su gibi kendi girdabına mahkum olmuşsun. Bizimle gel. Çünkü biz çağlayıp akan bir ırmak gibiyiz. Biz fakiriz ama gönlümüz zengin. Zenginliğimiz gizlilik ve bilinmezlik. Come with us. We are the lovers who will take you to the garden of love. In our house reside like a shadow for we are the neighbors of the sun. Though in this world we are as invisible as spirits, as ineffable as the love of true lovers, still our essence flows from you. For like the spirit we are seen and yet not seen. Whatever you say we are, we are above that. Look higher. You are water, but trapped in a whirlpool. Come with us. We are a river, we flow. To our infinite joy, we have lost everything. We have nothing but the song of our unknowing. Khushi akhar, begu ey yaar chuni. Khushi akhar, begu. ای یار چونی از این ایام ناهمبار چونی به روز و شب مرا اندیشه توست که از این روز و شب خونخار چونی از این آتش که در عالم فتاده است زدود لشگر تاتار چونی در این دریا و تاریکی و صد موج تو اندر کشتی پربار چونی منم بیمار و تو ما را طبیبی به پرس آخر که ای بیمار چونی منت پرسم اگر تو می نپرسی که ای شیرین شیرین کار چونی وجودی بین که بیچون و چگونه است دلا دیگر مگو بسیار چونی بگو در گوش شمس دین تبریز که ای خرشیده 
خوب اسرار چونی ای sevgili sen hoş musun söyle bana bu felaket günlerinde ne haldesin gece gündüz seni endişeyle düşünürüm bu kanlar akan günlerde ne haldesin alemi saran bu yangın yerinde tatar ordusunun bıraktığı kül dumanında sen ne haldesin karanlıklar ummanının köpüren tufanına kapılmış olan bu yüklü gemide sen ne haldesin ben hasta isem sen benim tabibimsin lütfen bu garip hastanın halini bir sor Sen benim halimi sormasan da sen ne haldesin? Ey tatlıların tatlısı sevgili ne haldesin? Vücudu olmayan varlığın sahibini gör de ey gönül ne haldesin demeyi bırak. Tebrizli Şems'in kulağına fısıldadım. Ey sırrı güzel güneş sen ne haldesin? Are you well my love? Tell me how you are. How are you in these times of calamity? I think about you night and day. How are you in these bloodthirsty days and nights with this fire that engulfs the world, with this smoke left behind by the Tartars' armies, in this sea surrounded by darkness and a thousand waves, in a foundering ship? How are you? I am stricken, and you are my physician. Ask me who am stricken. How are you? I ask you, even if you don't ask me, O oh, sweet one with the sweet deeds, how are you? Think only of the one who is unique. O oh, heart, stop. Don't keep asking how are you. Just whisper in the ear of Shams of Tabriz, O oh, son of the beautiful secrets, how are you? We have a saying in Persian that says, when the words stop, the music starts. <laughs> we would like to invite Kutsi Erguner and Afshin uh, to the stage for the concert. And your assignment is the last poem. You need to read it at home in three different languages. You need to learn the Persian script. Uh, that's your assignment for the next time. <laughs> Afshin and me, we just met this morning. <laughs> and it's the first time that we are going to play together. But I am sure that we will do something nice. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, at least.
remember what we played afterward? Thank you, Marion.
All these pieces that we are playing is they are what we call the Elohi, that they are sang with, with poems, and also we played some pieces from the Mevlevi wedding dervish ceremonies. And normally you play prelude to introduce a makam, but in the ceremonies of the whirling dervishes you have also at the end another prelude, we call it postlude. So, because the beginning is something, the end also the beginning of something else. So we will play now a son the last last prelude from this, the Ayin of Mevlevia in the Makam Ferrafesa.
So I've been told that at 9 o'clock we have to clear out this piece. So we have 20 minutes more, but it's time to go out. I will play something. Because when we are talking about Sufi music, people, they misunderstand something. There is no absolutely any music which is called Sufi music. But there are Sufis which they listen to the music with a very high intention. So, there is a repertoire which can be called Sufi music that we play now because there are Elohis, they play it in the, in the ceremonies. But of course, if there, is not, there are not Sufis, this music becomes something else. The context is something and the music is something. Now, I will propose you to play something that I, I like very much, composed by a very great composer, Tamburi Jamil Bey. He composed a piece called Chechen Kızı. Uh, Chechen is Chechen, yeah. How uh, you say this? Yeah. Chechen. Yeah, Chechen. It's, it can be listened as an air of dance. It can be also listened as a popular music, but it can be played and listened as a Sufi music. So we will try. <laughs> 